On this episode of the Piedmont Motion Picture Show, we're talking about the best iPhone gear and accessories to add to your mobile filmmaking kit, and that starts right now. Hey guys, Ryan Camp with the Piedmont Motion Picture Company. Thank you so much for joining me today. This channel is all about learning and growing as a filmmaker. So if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and let's become better filmmakers together. I know that many of you who watch this channel are mobile filmmaking enthusiasts. So today we're gonna to take a look at everything you might need to put together a mobile filmmaking kit so you can start making awesome movies with your smartphone. I'm still in the process of redoing my office here, so pardon the mess. Still got some painting to do, but things are coming along nicely. I finally got my gear all in place, my new desk. Should have a video launching pretty soon, going over the renovation process I've been going through in regards to that. But as you can see, I still have a little bit of work to do with the background here. Okay, so iPhone filmmaking accessories and gear. I'd like to preface this video by first saying that you can absolutely shoot a awesome film with just your iPhone and a tripod and everything would turn out great. But if you wanna take your images to the next level, I would suggest investing in some, or if not all of the gear that I have in my mobile filmmaking kit, which I'm gonna share with you guys today. Now this isn't necessarily the best gear. I try to go for things that are affordable for you guys if you're just starting out. Um, but this is the stuff that I started out using and it served me really well and it's stuff that I recommend and a lot of it I still use on a daily basis today. All right guys, let's check out the gear. The first thing you're going to need when putting together a smartphone filmmaking kit is, of course, a mobile phone. I'm currently shooting with the iPhone 8 Plus. I'm usually a generation or two behind with my smartphone, but I'm happy with the quality I'm getting with the iPhone 8 Plus right now. But upgrading to the newer models like the iPhone XS certainly couldn't hurt. Once you get a decent phone with a good camera, you're going to need a tripod and a mount for your phone. If you already own a tripod, I would recommend just buying a phone mount so you can mount your phone to your current tripod. I'm currently using the Cobra Tech tripod mount. It has a nice stable base, very durable. It's easy to install. It includes a Bluetooth remote and carrying case. It can switch from landscape to portrait mode with ease. It has strong and adjustable knobs and spring clamps, and it can fit any size phone with or without a case. But if you're looking for a tripod and a mount altogether, I would recommend checking out the Hitch Phone Tripod. It has a universal smartphone adapter, Bluetooth remote control, and it's pretty stable and durable. But the most important thing with a tripod like this is that it has a pan and tilt head with a lock, so you can nail some great motion shots. Next up is lenses. Moment makes an awesome array of lenses for your iPhone. Everything from wide lenses to macro to anamorphic, and they can really help your footage stand out. If you're going to add one of these lenses to your kit, or others like it, you're probably going to need to buy a specific case for your phone to help mount the lens, so keep that in mind. There are a few companies who make phone lenses that will clip to your phone instead, if you're looking to go that route, but I've personally never used them. If you're looking to get silky smooth shots with your mobile video, out of all the gimbals that I've tried, my favorite has to be the DJI Osmo. It has active track for following your subjects, a great stabilizer, time-lapse shooting, cinematic zoom control. It's easy to use and it's lightweight and portable. If you're looking for a great mic that will work with your smartphone, look no further than the Rode Video Micro. This is a compact on-camera microphone that is a high-quality cardioid condenser. It's lightweight, includes a shock mount, a furry windshield, and it runs off your camera's plug-in power. If you're going to try your hand at cinematic lighting, natural lighting looks great and can be used to great effect, but sometimes you're going to need a light kit to get the job done. If you're looking for a great, reliable, and affordable light kit to get you started, I would recommend the Aperture Amaran 528 LED Studio Panel Light Kit. I love Aperture lights, and this is a really solid three light kit to get you started. They are powerful, dimmable, very portable, and battery powered if you need them so you can light it up anywhere. You can't really beat the price for what you get in this light kit. If you're looking to go a little bit cheaper, they also have a two light version of this kit as well. If you're looking to take full control of your phone's camera, you'll need a video camera app to give you some professional level tools. My app of choice is Filmic Pro. 
It has everything you need to fine tune your images to get the best results. I've created several tutorials showing you how to get the most out of Filmic Pro. So if you're interested in adding this app to your kit, go watch those videos as soon as you're done here. If you're looking for an awesome camera bag to keep all of your great new iPhone filmmaking accessories in, I would recommend checking out Think Tank products. These guys have an awesome bag for just about any situation. Whether you're just looking for an awesome small shoulder bag to keep your phone rig and lenses in, or you need a heavy duty camera bag that can hold your DSLR, phone, gear, and lenses, they've got you covered. Okay guys, links to all of the products that you just saw are listed in the description below, and these are affiliate links, so if you click on them and you buy them, you will be supporting this channel. Just wanted to let you guys know that for full transparency. Question of the day. So today you've seen the gear that I use to shoot films with my iPhone. If you can improve my kit, what would you add to it? Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to support this channel, you can start by giving this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And be sure to click the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my new videos. You can also check out our digital store for awesome filmmaking resources, just like our Filmic Pro LUT pack that you can use with footage that you shoot on your iPhone. Before we go, I'd like to give a special shout out to our patrons who support this channel every month. Ethan B, Karen C, Richard H, and Ben K. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. I love you very much. As always, thank you for joining me on this filmmaking journey. I am Ryan, and I will see you on the next Piedmont Motion Picture Show.